Hey guys, we're back in the um, in the workshop looking at the 2x72 inch belt grinder again. Um, had a lot of interest in this thing so I figured I'd do an update video and sort of mention what, what hasn't been going right and what has been working and, and, and all that. So obviously you'll notice from last video this has all been painted black, all that and the, um, these things here have been all painted black. Um, the other major thing you'll notice is those wheels on the front there have been replaced. Um, they used to be these longboard wheels or skateboard wheels you can see that in this one here uh, the bearings have actually completely melted through and then they fell out uh, this one same sort of thing was about to happen so I thought I'd just replace both of them um, so if you're building one of these things probably don't suggest using those but these are, these these bigger ones have been working pretty well I had to go and buy another another one um, obviously got the red one there the red one there and this one's black this is a different one because they didn't have any of these ones and they couldn't even get get them ordered in so I went, just went and got something similar uh, what else have I changed the belt I found quite often when I turned this thing on it, the belt would just fly off um, found out the problem was this thing so I added some tape around the drive wheel to act as the ridge line there and that has stopped it completely I haven't had it happen again um, I think I mentioned last time as well I was going to change the system for um, the belt tension slash changing belt. I haven't done that. Had um, sort of no, it's not been necessary because I haven't been changing the belt as often as I thought I would be. But um, it's definitely not the easiest way, but it's, it seems to work. You know, it doesn't take long to, to swap out the belt. Uh, I've added a bucket of water underneath to try and catch some of the filings or the dust and a little container of water there as well. Um, other than that, everything else has been working pretty well. Um, no other complaints for it. But um, yeah, as I say, if, if you are building one of these things, I would suggest maybe not using these longboard wheels because they didn't didn't hold up long at all. Um, I actually started with, you'll know if you've watched other videos, I started with all three. All three of them have, um, haven't worked. So definitely recommend these bigger bearing, um, bigger wheels. And yeah, as for the tape, the tape... Seems to be all um, all still there, still fine. I use it quite a lot, this thing. Um, yeah, so that's just a quick update for you guys. Um, there's been a lot of interest in it, so I thought I'd just give you an update. And um, yeah, so there it is. Cheers for watching.